What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. And to pick up where we left off, we were attacking London and this is the opportunity we have to knock out Britain from the game uh, forever. Replace the, f the hated British with the Spanish Empire. And we have an army that's not, it's not entirely replenished, it's not entirely full. Um, but we're in pretty good shape considering lots of their Enemy forces are made up of militia and firelock, firelock armed citizenry. And this is the first run out for the Spanish Walloon Line Infantry. So that should be pretty cool. But let us attack the city. And this will this will be quite a, a significant um, marker, I suppose, for this campaign. In that we'll have knocked out our first major threat. And then now we can focus on the Ottomans in the Mediterranean and the Barbary States, as well as scooping up some of the former British colonies in the Caribbean. So, they have mortars, so something to be aware of. Let's have a look at the Walloon Line Infantry. Well, they look a lot more bright and majestic than their um, thumbnail would otherwise suggest. That's pretty cool. So let's take our regiment to de Sevilla with uh, three infantry units to push the left. A Walloon infantry with the Irish brigade will push the right flank. Uh, the Grenadiers will also join the left. Our pikes will go down the centre. <laughs> One unit of cavalry will be on one flank, our general will be on another. We will be joined by another cavalry unit. The pikes the pikes will be will probably be the enemy's focus for their artillery anyway, because they usually always are. You guys don't know who to shoot at, so you shoot at Garrison Line, you shoot at that unit of Garrison Line. Not a great first volley, but we are going to storm up, especially on the left. Oh, I have another unit of demi cannons. I'm I'm a goon. You men also storm up. They always go for the pikes. Always go for the pikes. Well, the pikes, like I said, are going to go straight through the centre and hit the mortars themselves. They are going to make the make the uh, the British pay for this, pay for the damage. Let's give them a charge order now. Hurrah! So these gunners that were waiting that I didn't deploy they now can deploy Oh, the Walloon Line Infantry at point blank range with a bunch of condensed British troops As the volleys ring home Walloon Line Infantry They're just as accurate, but they have more ammunition and reload faster than regular troops, and they're just a bit better in at melee. So they're kind of halfway house between guard infantry and halfway house between guard infantry and um, regular infantry. Bring the cavalry in. Oh, 
pikemen have routed under mortar fire and musket fire. So let's bring our left flank to bear. Form square on that flank. They've also upset one of our line infantry units. So let's bring up, make sure our cavalry's. I'm wondering if they're being if they're being hit by mortars, and that's why their morale is relatively so poor. General's bodyguard can take out the militia. This regiment of horse can get to the behind the rear here. Yes, they are being attacked by musket. F they, they are being attacked by mortar fire, and that's part of the reason why they're so their morale is so weak. So let's keep my cavalry pushing around the flank. Actually, my regiment of horse here has a straight run into the mortars, so take it. Pikes are back, so they're going to charge straight down the middle as well. Those guys are going to have to charge the Firelock Arm citizenry, lest they charge them first. No, Fernando! He's died to militiamen! I should have done it the other way around, really. Sent my general to go after the, the artillery. Oh well. He fought his way across Europe all the way to Britain to fall at the heart of the capital. One mortar down. The other mortar down. Get these guys back. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the left flank has collapsed. Nearly. Okay, now it's collapsed. So get you to occupy that building. All of these units storm through the town or get into the town at least shattered shattered broken so the 9th regiment might take a bit of a hammering but we will clear them out yeah there they are now you men push up to there, you men push up to that gap, you men push up to that one. So my glorious pikes that have not Managed to do what I would like them to do. Actually, let's not get in the house. Let's just take position here. You can hit that militia. Get Actually, you go hit that firelock arm citizenry. I mean, the 23rd will not last for very long. Not once everyone starts. No. Exactly. New men, charge on. So we might have lost our general. But London is taken. Stop our artillery from firing. The swines. Just 
one damn weakened militia unit was all it took. It's all that was needed just to knock out, <laughs> knock out our general. Ah, uh, oh well. But there we go. London has fallen. Minus 16. So we might have to knock down the university just to maintain control. Let's knock that down. Do we keep the chapter school? They don't have any religious uh, religious happiness, so you may as well knock that down. Then, as and when troops are ready, we march them south. But now that means we have taken we have taken the British Isles. Obviously, the thirteen colonies still exist, but Nassau and Port Jamaica have become pirate territories. There's, there's a lot of pirate territories now, worthy worthy to take. So unfortunately we have to destroy Cambridge, but we really can't keep it. We need to get London under control as quickly as possible. So next turn we're going to have to spend a lot of money rebuilding their institutions. France has taken Turin. So our buffer zone in Northern Europe is looking pretty good right now. Well, Western Europe, I suppose. Northern relative to Spain, I suppose. Hmm. The Ottomans are aware that the the clock is the clock is going to toll for them soon enough, and that's why they're deciding to attack my computer and slow the game down. Go get them, New Spain. If you want to become a superpower in the Americas, have at it. Just leave enough for us. I should really go attack that Mughal ship that's raiding in the um, near the Straits of Gibraltar. It might be worth taking. Workers on strike in England, that's to be expected. Let's repair the Grand Opera House, can repair Parliament, the Parliament Chamber. Let's get my cavalry inside. Let's get more cavalry down here. Can't recruit dragoons, but wait a minute, is that that's different line infantry in Edinburgh? Can only recruit two of them. But that's pretty cool. So I want a church school and a happiness building for this to eventually become another another um, uh, research building. But I'm going to build a line infantry unit up in Edinburgh. Savoy has been destroyed. Who took them out? Oh, that was the, <laughs> the French. I, in my head I thought Saxony. I read Savoy, but I thought Saxony's been destroyed. Okay, but the bulk of our money does have to go on to stabilising London. And that's going to take some time. Because they're already... So they're minus six or minus seven to hate us. Uh, they hate... Well, they to hate us anyway. So we need to... Attack their rebel forces whenever they emerge. And that means we also need to maintain a garrison in London. Because if we leave... If we march our army out to attack the garrison, to attack the rebels, then obviously then they will. Their public order becomes worse, and the and the rebels get stronger. So you do need to keep some sort of garrison in the uh, in the city or in the in the territory you're trying to take control of. Mm -mm -mm. If the Ottomans are going to start doing this, then I'll chop the recording. I mean, I might just do it now, to be honest. You get three seconds. Three, two, one. Nope. Oh, oh, no. Well, I'm, I'm going to drop the recording anyway and bring you guys back when uh, something happens. See you in a second, everyone. And we're back. It took him a couple of minutes. But sure enough, back we came. So... 
charge. I was playing on my phone, so I'm going to put it back in its little thingamajig. So we need to go take that Moogle ship that's in the Straits. If it's still there, I might have missed it while I was sorting out my phone stuff. Pirates are still going to pirate. Okay, so... Ooh! Just from rebuilding those buildings, we've managed to get them to chill out. Well, get them to chill out enough. Very well. Let's build our ships to occupy the regions. Do we have a militia unit? We do not, so let's get one. Ooh, infantry to the marina. It's pretty neat. Can you guys leave Edinburgh without them freaking out? You can. So let's rebuild you as a trading port. Recruit a general. Diogo Coronado. This It's the cross of Coronado! Okay, so... We want my pikes and my colonial line to join this army. You guys can go back to join Marcelino Gomez. So these might be troops that sail back to Tangier to push and take Algiers, Tunis, and then we can begin operations against the Mughals in Naples. The ship is gone. Nuts. Sardinia has grown. Um, okay, it's got to be a trade port, but I don't have the money for it. Let's upgrade this farm because London... Oh, and I can, and I can tax you as well. Because London is a boom town. It's second only to Madrid. But England will grow a lot quicker. We need to get you upgrade you to cobbled roads. Edinburgh's already got cobbled roads. 7,600. Never, never before in our lifetime has the, the Spanish Empire seen such a vast treasury. Sooner or later, France will turn on us. But if they do, at least we now own Britain as well. So we can land on, we can land in Normandy um, if we need to. Okay, you know, it's moving. Okay, yeah, last time it might have been a bit of a, bit of a freak occurrence, but we need to be careful with the, the Ottomans and their end turn tricks. That's right, New Spain, keep the shipping lanes free. For us in the Caribbean. The Italians. I wonder if the Italians will eventually attack the, the Mughals. It's the natural progression, you'd think, that they would go and they'd want to take that territory back now that they haven't got to declare war on a fellow Catholic region or Catholic um, country. Barbaric states are losing a lot of ships trying to raid those ports. We have a rake in Spain and a gentleman. So let's send the rake on to Tunis because he will move along the coast as we advance. And this was something you guys told me to do, which I didn't. Let's move my priest over to Algiers because I have a church school here converting Morocco anyway. So let's get them over here converting Algiers ahead of our attacks. We have a new town, Puerto Principe in Cuba. So let's upgrade. Upgrade that building. Okay. Right. Can you handle upgraded universities? You can. Still got your coach school. Okay, so I think I upgrade one classical university. And then I go back to London and get cobbled roads and upgrade the church school. Don't need to upgrade the church school because its religious unrest is almost has almost vanished. Let's no, let's upgrade the coaching into a bawdy house to really boost the happiness so that we can get a, another university built quickly. I didn't check the new technologies either. Sextant's okay. At some point you need to build a naval board. 
And they, all our sloops have been built to protect to protect our um, to protect our ports. There we go, Diego Coronado. That's our next big hitter army. This actually might stay as a bit of a almost slowly build this up into a bit of a garrison of these these islands. Or I might sail them over to Cuba. Start to boost our military in this region, and then we can sail and go and attack the pirate regions. And we've also got Rupert's land we could take as well. Okay, let's hit end turn. The French are pretty unstoppable at the minute. <laughs> Sooner or later, they'll be drawn into war against the uh, the Prussians, and at some point, we might be expected to provide. Oh. Where are you going? Hopefully, you're a ship that's worth attacking, or mobbing and attacking. Because I've not really had the opportunity to hoover up individual ships. Let's hope the Mughal Empire continued to attack and irritate people in Europe and eventually they might get taken out. I mean, ideally I'd like to take them out, but... So you've got Sextant. Not getting carbines. You are going to get Socket Bayonet. Salamanca is going down the government by consent route. Let's upgrade Sevilla to a classical university. New port emerges, Casablanca in Morocco. Let's get another trading port. Let's get a, a light galley to occupy the, the port. It's only a heavy Jebek, so let's just send these guys out to so just take it out. Ah, didn't even take it out. So who did we? Who has our priest met? Our priest has met someone. Oh, an assassin. He doesn't like us being here. Two can play that game, assassino. Nuts. Okay, got 1900. I'm gonna... Okay, that's gonna go from 14 to 17 and it'll get worse, so I might upgrade the coaching into a bawdy house to offset the gain in clamour for reform. I still need to repair this craft workshop I broke. But yeah, London's London's growing nicely. It could grow even more. It could grow even faster. We have to give it time. We all you know, we all we all know how powerful London is as a region economically. You have just so many towns and ports that the growth is just... It's like a rocket taking off. It becomes just an incredibly, incredibly, incredibly wealthy region. I, I, I'm wondering if it might even end up being the wealthiest in the game. I'm just thinking, you've got so many towns. You've got probably five, five thereabouts, plus four ports. That's pretty huge. I can't think of another region off the top of my head that's got so many towns. I mean, Madrid's close, but you only get three ports. So maybe it might vibe between Madrid and... Wait. Okay, you're now researching carbines. I was thinking, why are you researching carbines? Okay, Salamanca, let's get Blast Coke Furnace, because we now have more industry. We have San Juan. Let's upgrade you to a port. Let's get a sloop recruited to transfer you across. That's reminded me of this. I mean, really, we need that militia back. So let's build another. Let's just build a light galley. I can bring that militia back up to Tangier. To you. Try kill him. Got it. Genoa's taken Tunis. That's a bit of a kick in the knackers, isn't it? 
Is France likely to attack Genoa? Potentially. Oh, they're at war with Genoa. Good. Which means that when they attack... Well, we can attack Genoa and not be too... Too worried, unless they're allied. They're allied with the Italian states. Okay, so that might become a bit of a bigger spat than I think. But then again, that's why I've got a big army. I can then deploy this army. Take back Naples and maybe take Rome itself. Interesting. So 6,300, let's try and spend... First of all, repair the port. Let's try and spend some money on... Okay, let's buy two eco economy upgrades. Don't want, don't, not worried about the barracks just yet. Let's upgrade another. Uh, let's upgrade another production facility. So we've got three agents in Salamanca, one in Sevilla. So this chap can go down to Sevilla. Uh -huh. 8100 Okay, I think it will be a good idea to get Maybe boost these guys with a couple more units then sail them over to the Caribbean. So let's bring Let's bring both our fifth rates over to Portsmouth. No, I accidentally took the sloop over here as well. So they'll become increasingly happy with us. So soon we could build the university, although that might add on. Well, in my head I had the 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 um the uprising characteristic might be about three, but it can go up to it might it depends on how far you've researched. So if you've researched a lot of stuff, it makes people really, really rebellious really quickly. So maybe I might boost uh, Morocco's garrison with some troops from the region and then send then send those guys up in London over to over to the Americas. So we do have a general over here, right? Yeah, we do. So you guys don't need one. Oh, lots of good stuff. Okay, let's get two marines to go over to America, because that would be pretty fun, I think. Then one more unit of line infantry. Good. Let's upgrade. Okay, can't get upgraded roads. So much stuff. So much stuff to upgrade. The Weaver's Cottage is poor. So your group, Spain's growing at 56. London's growing at 39. But that's because you've got more upgraded stuff. First of all, let's get the militia back up to Tangier. Crew a general. Ger Geronimo Nadal. Hey, it's Nadal. Get two light cavalry because that's what we're missing. Then once that militia's up and ready, we can push onto. We can push into Algiers. Okay. 1800 to spend. That sounds like another upgrade here, but I can't. See, if I build a school, what does that do? Does that add on? Adds on 9. Clamor for reform 9. In three turns, we'll be on about 8 as the resistance to foreign occupation goes down. Bit of a gamble, really, to do it so close. Let's just be a bit sensible. Although there's not a lot else we can do. With 1800. 
Opera House gives us more town wealth. I'm an idiot. Let's go over to the Americas. We can probably upgrade a plantation or something with it. Huh, guess not. Both of our areas have good roads. Well, you know what we can build? Build two units of line while our garrison here is expanding. We do want to keep a militia unit here because this is a military port. So there will be ch there will be times where we have it. Um, the port will be unprotected. <laughs> the French. They're going. They're going after the Genoese hard. They're really not giving them a break. But that's good for us. And it looks like those the Genoese troops that have been recruited on Corsica are actually going to be trapped. Well, no, they're not trapped. They can get. They got their fleet to the northwest. I was looking at the the undeveloped port on the island itself. I was hoping the French might take the Genoese capital. But you know how the Genoese are. They've got all their little islands being built up. So it's still their capital. So we know that France hasn't, hasn't taken it. So God knows where all those troops went. Yeah, that's fine. You're infiltrating Tunis. Tunis, to be honest, might even rebel. You infiltrate Tripoli. There we go, Geronimo Nadal. So let's declare war. We're already at war with the Ottomans. So it doesn't matter. Don't call in our allies, because I don't want to risk them not joining me. Let's send Jebek to occupy Oran to make sure they don't build any annoying ships. Madrid, we can build an imperial palace that will boost our income quite a lot. But it's also, 6,000 is a lot of money to spend on one building when I can upgrade two ports for that. I can upgrade two brand new ports for that, so... I think I'd rather have the, the upgraded two upgraded ports, please. Okay, so England's now still positive five. Really, we need the resistance to foreign occupation to go down. Let's get the Weaver's Cottage. Actually, let's check. Yeah, I did wonder if this had been finished. So we'll build a sloop to occupy that. Oh well, no, we don't need to. The pirate fleet has left, so we can just sail Glorioso across to San Juan. My upgrade Santo Domingo to a governor's mansion. Two turns till we get another port for Santo Domingo. That's pretty huge. Okay. Cuban recruitment ongoing. Let's hit end turn. Oh, go on, France. Go for it. You know, you want to do it. Cool, they've done it. I mean, that's a lot of troops they've got. <laughs> so that's a lot of troops to push into northern Italy. Considering I've only got one, one standing army and they've got a whole bunch. I mean, I could have more, but I mean... Spending on your economy, man. That's really important. Like, I, I love spending on the economy. Like, I'm quite into personal finance and lot of stuff in real life, so it really, really... Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Gah! They Prussia bought it! <laughs> you swines. You absolute swines. Look! 
Look at this. Look at this. Ugh. What deal did you do? What deal did you do with the Barbary State? You haven't traded any of your own regions for it. You didn't have any overseas to trade for it. God, that's just annoying. Okay, Iron Workshop grades you to a weaver's cottage. You're as, as full strength as we need you to be, so let's get the militia out. Oh, so that looks glorious. I'm really looking forward to getting those uh, marines into action. There he goes. Also bringing two fifth rates over to the Americas as well. So one thing I do want to do... Ooh, I can build fourth rates here. Dare I build one? Or do I just keep spending on the economy? Especially as now I'm no longer attacking... Going to attack the Barbary States. I mean, I could take Tripoli, but what's the damn point? God damn you. If I take Diogo Coronado out... They don't hate us. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen is the, this army is going to be built up. And then we're going to launch an attack against a pirate state. But looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. And that was actually pretty... Uh, pretty effective. Oh yes! I'm a dummy! Dummy, dummy, dummy. Because the British were up here, and they were what, stopping, what stopped my army here from moving, unless I wanted to attack them, which I didn't, Britain no longer exists. So I can take this force at Florida. Actually, if I get into the port, rather than just letting them attack the way they would like to attack. Oh, they can't make it in one turn. General's bodyguard and a bunch of buccaneers. Yeah, we'll probably we'll be fine. We'll march over and attack Nassau. Then that other force that's coming in will actually group up with the forces in Havana, and they'll take Port Royal. We could add even more production, especially coffee. We don't have any coffee in our portfolio. I mean, this single ship in a race-built galleon. Things like that. That's where the fifth rates would come in handy. We can start to combine some of our ships together. But, yeah. Anyway, looking at the timer, like I was saying, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the next episode of the Spanish Empire Let's Play. Cheers, everyone.